I hope you are not in a position where you have to tell somebody that, look, I think you smell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jadine and you are watching Jadine Spot. Today I wanted to talk about one of those topics that not everybody talks about on a regular basis and that is vaginal odor. Now vaginal odor is a lot of times associated with stuff like yeast infection or other vaginal infections. Vaginal odor is not something that's easy to discuss nor is it easy to live with for the persons who are experiencing this. There are a lot of natural ways to reduce vaginal odor but if at any point in time there is a discharge associated with a vaginal odor then you know that it's time to like see a doctor because there are some health issues at play here. Over the past month or two I've been seeing videos going around on YouTube oh your kitty stinks and while other persons are laughing at other people's reactions it's actually more serious than that because there are people who are having this problem and it's not a funny thing no I'm gonna make reference to the videos again sometimes if you notice when the guys say to the girl oh I think your kitty stinks or I think your vagina stinks she does not have a pleasant look on her face because it's it's not only something that's uncomfortable to say to somebody but it's uncomfortable to have somebody say to you too if that's really the case like it's odd it's an odd situation for somebody to come to you and say oh hey you know you stink and I think you need to get it checked out it's not one of the best things to hear or to want to hear I can remember at one point I knew somebody who had an odor and it was one of the hardest things to come to her and say oh you know for a while now I've been smelling and I think it's your it's no it's it's not it's not one of those things where you just go to some no matter how much you love the person it's hard it's very hard to go to somebody and tell them oh hey I think your vagina stinks really hard and what I had to do with the person I knew is she was like upstairs and I was downstairs and I literally had to text her and tell her because it was such a hard thing to like say up front to somebody because I'm a female and I'm thinking about how I would feel if somebody were to say this to me and it was not a good feeling you know of course she was thankful that I even said anything you know and she got it checked out and whatever but another thing that puzzles me too is that sometimes people don't know I don't know how you don't know because I feel like if there's a scent if there's an odor you're the first person who is supposed to smell it which means another person shouldn't be able to have to say to you before you have a chance to get it checked out but that's just my personal opinion I feel like a healthy vagina is important to overall health it's important to relationships, it's important to births if you're pregnant, it's important to marriages because if you smell that's gonna affect your relationship, your marriage, whatever situation you're in, in some kind of way. And if it affects a woman's relationship, imagine how much it affects her self-esteem to have to actually deal with this problem. It is perfectly normal for the vagina to have a smell I want to say I think odor is a strong word to say it's okay for vagina to have an odor I feel like everybody has a natural smell to them not a bad smell or anything but a natural smell because that's just how it is it is an opening to the interior of the body which is where a smell would come from a natural smell would come from but when it starts smelling bad like a very strong smell or something fishy is something real serious and this is when you know you need to see a doctor as abnormal vaginal odor is most times associated with like yeast infection you will I'd like to say you will know if you're having an infection separate from like the smell because it will be itchy and if it's itchy it will burn you and if it burns you it means it's irritated from all the itching so this is a sign to say okay something is going on let me get this checked out 
a vaginal odor is sometimes noticeable after intercourse and like around your menstrual cycle time and then this is when a lot of persons think about douching which is not good because douches have a list of chemical ingredients in them which will increase irritation however you know rambling on and on about vaginal odor of course there are natural ways to take care of a vaginal odor so you have apple cider vinegar which has antibacterial and antiseptic properties that can help fight a vaginal odor so taking a bath with apple cider vinegar can help fight off toxins and bacteria that causes vaginal odor you have baking soda and baking soda helps with balancing the pH level of your body and I feel like once the pH level of your body is balanced the problem of vaginal odor will like spread out and eventually go away if you keep treating it baking soda is good for so much stuff but I feel like in this regard it comes in so handy you can add like half a cup of baking soda to your bath water and like soak in it for 15 to 20 minutes another thing that's really important to avoiding vaginal odor is to make sure that after every bath you dry your body properly before putting on clothes because of course you don't want moisture to sit in the folds of your body or in the folds of like your groin area because that will essentially cause an odor to develop you have probiotics like probiotic yogurts which i don't know much about but it's listed anywhere you type in like cures for vaginal odor probiotic yogurt also helps to restore the normal vaginal ph level which which can remove vaginal odor so that's good and then you have white vinegar and sea salt now white vinegar and sea salt is something that every person probably already has in their house which is good for somebody who probably has a vaginal odor because it's probably right there in your pantry already white vinegar is known for neutralizing odors because a lot of persons when they're like dealing with raw meat and stuff they will wash it in vinegar and it kind of cuts the rawness so white vinegar is known for neutralizing odor and this can also help to restore the pH levels in the vagina. You can use a cup or half cup of white vinegar and sea salt in like your bath water several times per week. This should help with vaginal odor or you could also steam with like the very same warm water and like sea salt or the same white vinegar tea tree oil is also very good tea tree oil is good for so much stuff and it smells really good so it will leave like a good scent afterwards so you can add a few drops of tea tree oil to like the water that you're gonna bathe in or you could add it to like your bath rag or something to like clean up the area and it will leave a good scent and it's also good no garlic is also so good because it has antimicrobial and antifungal properties which are really good in this case no since I've been growing up, I've heard that um, garlic is kind of a natural antibiotic. So it's good for so many stuff. So you could literally like eat a clove of garlic on like an empty stomach with like a glass of water. You can include garlic in your meals like on a daily basis. And of course, I think garlic is available in the capsule form in like your healthy food stores. I'm not sure, but you can check. But garlic is very good. It's also like a good remedy for vaginal yeast infection or for vaginal odor that we are talking about at the moment. And I've known people who have used garlic before and it has worked for them. So I can say it really works. I'm not just saying it and I'm not sure if it works. And that is basically all I have for vaginal odor. It's hard to tell people that you smell them and there's no good way to say it to somebody. Like, however you say it, it's not gonna sound good because it really just is what it is. I hope you are not in a position where you have to tell somebody that, look, I think you smell. Because there's no good way to say it and you're not gonna feel good about having to say it to somebody, but it is what it is. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and of course, Feel free to leave your comments down below of any other natural remedies that you know that is probably good for vaginal odor or if you have had to tell somebody before that you smell them and that was the case. Comment down below and let me know and of course give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video.